Moray eels are sometimes considered one of the most dangerous fish in the sea. They certainly don't like being disturbed, their teeth are unpleasant as we're about to discover, and they have been known to injure humans. But there's obviously always more to sea life like this than meets the eye. Moray eels can be calm and curious, and they're actually very shy, hence all the hiding in reefs and caves. There are many different varieties of moray eel, and they live among hundreds of different species of eels in general. With that in mind, we've compiled the best facts and footage featuring the creature that may have given rise to the sea serpent myth. This is Deep Blue Discovery. Coming up on this episode, find out what moray eels have in common with xenomorphs from the Alien films, and discover which species of eel are hermaphrodites. But first, moray eels have a tendency to warn divers off when they're disturbed. Bartos Lukasik found this out in Sodwana Bay, South Africa. This may have happened because these creatures have very poor eyesight, but a keen sense of smell. They're opportunistic predators, meaning they lie in wait for prey to pass their hiding places. If you do disturb them, there's a small chance you'll be given a similar warning to Bartos. Moray eels are decisive when they go in for a kill. On this occasion in the Red Sea, a pufferfish was the unlucky victim. Morays are nocturnal predators, often spending full days hiding on the reef. They don't tend to hunt as such because food usually comes their way, and when it does, they don't miss. A pufferfish is a small snack for a creature this large. This one was swallowed whole. Sometimes they do attack larger prey, and a battle ensues. In Oahu, Hawaii, this one was filmed trying to take down an octopus, but it didn't go according to plan. In a cloud of ink, the octopus managed to escape, minus a tentacle. Then, having lost its meal, the eel turned on filmer Nicholas Berggren. Moray eels can grow on average to around one and a half metres, but this one was a giant, just shy of two. You might have noticed that it's opening its mouth continuously. This is often misinterpreted as threatening behaviour, and may be one of the reasons they're seen as dangerous. But most are just doing it to keep water circulating over their gills, basically staying alive. Make no mistake though, they are effective predators. This one appears to have just eaten too much, and we all know what happens when we do that. It hasn't actually eaten too much though. Their mouths and teeth, in fact their physiology in general, plays a key role in why they're seen as fearsome. They can't really swallow, because they can't create negative pressure with their mouths, so they have a second set of teeth based in their throats. This is known as a pharyngeal jaw. They use mouth one to catch their prey, then mouth two is brought forward, first to grip the food, then to pull it back into their gullet. The unusual mobility of the moray eel's pharyngeal jaw 
was only discovered relatively recently. It was often described as being akin to the mouth of a xenomorph in the Alien films. Still to come on Deep Blue Discovery, among the most elusive eels seen dancing in the sand. But first, we're heading very briefly into a much darker part of the ocean, the Twilight Zone. Here, a small squid is being hunted by a deep sea variety of eel. Down here, life is used to living without light. Predators like this use their heightened senses to uncover and kill their prey. Nearer the surface, light sometimes means lots of colour. This is a ribbon eel caught on camera off the coast of Okinawa, Japan. These vivid animals are actually a species of moray eel, but superficial similarities are few and far between. All ribbons begin their lives as males. If and when they reach a certain size, they change colour and start to develop female body parts, which enables them to lay eggs. They are officially hermaphrodites. These stunning creatures are similar to moray eels in that they spend a lot of time hiding in reef crevices, but when they do come out, it can be mesmerising. Shorthead worm eels are nocturnal and tend to stay buried during the day, so to see them, you usually have to dive at night. This one was spotted off Victoria in Australia, and the diver nearly got the shock of her life. Despite its abrupt movements, the eel wasn't threatening the diver at all. The ends of their tails are sharp and solid, and shortheads use them to burrow into the sand. They jump up to build momentum. The reason eels tend to hide a lot and only come out at night is that they're actually pretty vulnerable. As you can see here off the coast of Kent in the UK, there are plenty of threats if they come out of their hiding places during the day. And finally, garden eels are among the smallest eel species you'll see in the ocean, growing to around 40 centimetres. They're a member of the conger eel family and they live in burrows on the sea floor. They're famous for poking their heads out of the sand and it sometimes kind of looks like they're raving. There is a huge number of eel species in the ocean, and each one is interesting in its own way. Moray eels in particular, with their hidden set of chompers, can invoke in the imagination a picture of a serpent-style monster. But most are nocturnal, shy, and only hunt at night. And even what looks like an ominous warning is in fact a completely innocent survival mechanism. It's the sheer variety that makes eels interesting. Whether it's vibrant colours, bizarre behaviour, or honed hunting techniques. These creatures could keep surprising us forever. Thanks for watching Deep Blue Discovery. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and share the channel as far and wide as possible. We'll be back next week with more awesome facts and footage.